Hello everyone, this is Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post and welcome back to my channel. Today is the latest installment of the Moon Watch series and it's all about the new moon in Pisces. It technically started yesterday as the date shows below. Um, but I wanted to be in the full alignment and the right energy to do this reading. And it is all about new beginnings, fresh starts, like a lot of them are. But it's a little more powerful this time. It's a little bit more um, grounded because we have done a lot of the shadow work. We've worked through a lot of old thought patterns, old beliefs, let go of so much emotionally, physically, even around us and mentally. And while we're still always on a journey to heal and look within and really work on ourselves, now is the time to really go on your path, really break out of all those old things and go into the light as far as going into your new cycle. And this could be in business endeavors, it could be in personal relationships, um, even self-empowerment, or even just a drastic change in life. It could be anything from a minor event to a huge event. Whatever it is, if whatever resonates with you. And this reading is going to go a little bit deeper into it. As usual, I'll do my three-card drawing, and we're going to see what the universe and the moon energy that's coming in um, has to say about that. And again, this is only a general card reading. It's not a personal card reading, which I will be resuming when I come back from my New York City trip in the middle of March. Um, so there'll be um, some ways you can contact me if you are interested in that. But this is just a general one to give you life direction, um, give you confirmation of things you might be uh, dwelling on, and signs of whether to let certain things go or what you need to work on or just what is working well for you. So whatever resonates for you, go for it. Whatever doesn't, just discard and enjoy the rest. So as we go into it, I'm going to use my normal Moonology Oracle card deck um, by Yasmin Boland. I love this deck. Always have, always will. And uh, it really will give us um, the direction until the full moon that comes in March. Um, is which way we should go and things we need to think about. So so as I shuffle the cards, I already cleared the energy a little while ago um, with the candle flame, like I've said in my other videos. So it's all ready to roll. And it always strikes me as ironic that I'm doing a moon reading when it's bright sunlight outside. Normally I'm fighting the sun coming in and really messing up the video, but managed to move the blinds a little bit and let the light out. Um, disclaimer, you might hear Timmy trying to get up in the window. He had a little bit of a hissy fit earlier. Um, he saw the cat he does not like that is an outside cat. I think it belongs to somebody, but I'm not sure who. And he just went crazy. So you might try to get in the window later. <laughs> so it's real life. What are you going to do? So... All right, let's shuffle these a few more times. Okay. All right. All right, let's get into it. Oh, let's me. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, here we go. The first card is don't let pride gang your way full moon and leo and this card is very significant um it's popped up in several of my readings in the past and a lot of the time it does mean literally what it says don't let pride gang your way don't let something that scares you or that you're too proud to admit hold you back from things you desire or want to manifest um, it's really, really important that we let go of that way of thinking. This is time around is actually stressing more about the ego way of thinking. And when I say the ego mind, it means our 3D mind, our human mind. Um, the mind that is set up to help us survive, 
um, defends us when we need it, um, helps us rationalize a lot of things when we need it. But it can be very, very destructive because a lot of us overthink, a lot of us um, let fear hold us back because the ego will start talking back to you saying, oh, no, you, you're not good enough to do this. Oh, no, you should be afraid of this. Oh, no, no. Let's not get out of our comfort zone. Let's just stay here where it's nice and cozy. And it has its place like anything else. Of course, you need some of that to survive. You need some of that to um, warn you against certain things. But what this is saying is you need to look into your heart a little bit more than you have been. You need to tap into the intuition. And if you don't know how to do that, there's a lot of tools out there that can help you um, be more aware of that. But really, the best way to do it is to meditate. Um, if you don't like that word meditate, not everybody feels comfortable enough to do that. Um, just be present in the moment. Be still. Be. Um, it's so important, and especially in today's society, to take those moments to really be in the moment. It's so full of distractions, as I've mentioned before. Um, it's an ongoing thing that's never really going to go away. So it's how we adapt to it. It's how we um, make time to go within, really check in with our inner self and see what's going on there. See what um, is helping us and what is hindering us. So now don't let that pride or the ego way of thinking get in your way of true happiness or true healing. It's really, really important right now because now that you're on a new path, uh, whether it's just a new way of doing things or a new, new beginning entirely, this is super important. Be present in the moment. Check in with yourself every day and make sure that you're not letting things from the outside hold you back. It's really, awesome. really important right now. The second card, which I have to tell myself constantly, <laughs> take time to breathe out, disseminating moon. This is so, so important because I am so guilty of this myself. I am, I get in that rat race, I get in that fast paced mode of life. I'm multitasking constantly. Um, even though I know consciously, you know, single tasking is actually a much better thing to do. Because um, you're being in the moment, you're really giving more thought to whatever you're doing and maybe not missing out on enjoying that task. But I can't help it. All right, I have an issue with that sometimes. I'm multitasking constantly. I want to get things done, want to get it done now. And I don't stop. You know, you just keep going from thing to thing. I always feel like I have something I have to do. And when I don't get those things done, um, I can be pretty hard on myself sometimes. And I know I'm not the only one. I talk to so many people every day that um, go through the same thing. So this is the universe's way of reminding us that we're not here for that. We're there to connect with others, to work on ourselves, to learn the lessons we need to learn, and to heal. Um, we need to take that time to breathe out. And it doesn't have to be in the formal um, way of doing it, like meditation, like I was talking about. It can be just being present. It can be taking time out for self-care. Um, that could be all kinds of things. I've gone through the list many times. Um, whatever helps you relax, whatever helps bring you back to what's important in your life. And also being grateful for things that you already have and you know that are coming to you is so important. And that actually um, has a butterfly effect on the rest of your life, on the rest of your reality. And all those things, just those little things, makes a big difference. And I still think of the example I used in my last video as far as having your cup of coffee in the morning and not automatically getting on the computer or not automatically getting on the phone or uh, plugging in te te technology. Um, always take a moment, like even two minutes, to sit with your coffee or your tea, wake up, just really be present in the moment and really think of how wonderful it is to be able to do that. Because not everybody's able to do that. Not everybody has that luxury where they can uh, really have coffee 
um, enjoy it, um, be happy for that moment, um, really be thankful to be alive. And even if your day still kind of, eh, at least you have those couple moments to really appreciate what counts. You're here. You wake up every day. You breathe in, you breathe out. You put your feet on the floor after getting out of bed and you know you exist that day. And you exist for a reason. So remember, always know that you are here for a reason and that that matters and that counts, regardless of what's going on in your life. So take time to breathe and make time for it. Um, if you're doing that right now, that's awesome. Keep it up. If not, take a moment. Take a moment. And if you don't have time in the morning, do it at night before you go to bed. Put your hand on your heart as you go to sleep and imagine the life that you want or continue to have and just know that it's already yours. So take time to breathe. And the third one is so fitting, and this one has come up on my readings a lot, as many of you know. <laughs> so, it's pretty cool. A new start is coming. New moon. So, now the universe has confirmed it. It is time for the new start. And the new start might have already begun for you. And it has, and if you know it has, then that is your new start. Um, if it hasn't, it's right around the corner. Um, you may be involved in a business endeavor or a personal goal that you're trying to achieve and you're not seeing any results yet and you're almost at that point where you're saying, you know what, I think I'm going to throw the towel in. Don't. Keep going because that new beginning is right around the corner because when you quit, right after that, that's when it, the magic happens. So that's a repeating message I've had in a few of my videos, and I'm really, really feeling it right now. So there are a few of you that are at that point, and you're being told to hang on and keep going. Keep persevering, because it's already yours. So <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Um, we're finally starting to realize our full potential, and we're starting to realize that we're more than just our human existence. Um, some of us are seeing that in a major way, and some of us are just starting to wake up to tiny little things. We may not understand, but we feel it, and we know there's something more than that meets the eye. And it's super important right now because we are here for a reason. We are here to um, help others awaken and know their own truth and know their own potential. And uh, that's on the 3D reality as well as the higher dimension. So take it for what's worth, but a new start is coming in so many different ways, um, collectively and individually. And uh, we just need to keep persevering. We need to have unity and pull together and encourage each other and uplift one another. So hang on to your hats because that new start is going to be amazing for all of us. So, so there we go. So that's short and sweet this week, um, or this moon cycle. Um, but the universe just wanted to get to the point. Um, what it is, is keep going. You're doing an awesome job on self-work. Um, we've been really, really hanging on for a long time. We've been waiting for this. And now is the time to reap in the benefits of our hard work and really know that we're going to be okay, <laughs> that um, beautiful things are on the way. And um, yeah, <laughs> so this is only the beginning of the decade. So can you imagine at the end of the year, the self-growth we'll all go through? Um, it's going to be pretty amazing in December when we make these videos or do our vlogs or um, reach the goals that we've set our minds to and our hearts to. And we'll see in hindsight how much we've grown and how much we've changed for the better. And that is uh, what a friend of mine says. He says, um, I'm paraphrasing, but 
be the better version of yourself at sunset than you were at sunrise. I know I didn't get an exact word for word, but that was the gist of it. And I really resonate with that. I really go with that. And the energy I'm getting from these cards is exactly that. So keep pushing on <laughs> using my 2020 vision phrase. And uh, just know that you are protected. You are safe. It is okay to have your new start. And it's going to be amazing. So <laughs> anyway, that is my moon card reading. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you resonated with it. Um, if you did, if anything stuck out for you, um, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have a conversation with all of you. Um, we have a really good community. And it's a very safe place to be able to comment. Um, I do try to keep my comments positive, um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Also, um, I am going to be coming out with a bunch of videos pretty soon, sporadically. Um, and I don't know if I made the final announcement, but I am going to come back with Card of the Day. So if you want to be uh, alerted to that, feel free to click like and subscribe and hit the notification bell on the YouTube channel so that way you get those alerts when I start doing those again. And that will start on March 1st. So I'm excited. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you all. I love you guys. You are awesome. Thank you for the support. Um, a lot of things are in, uh, uh, basically in transition right now, so just bear with me. Um, I've been loading some other videos from my Steam community and 2020 Vision. It may look a little bit like a hot mess right now, and I apologize about that. But I'm debating on either putting a new playlist for just that or uh, and put them unlisted. And if you guys want that, I'll put it in my description below on my videos. Or I might just do another channel, but I'm not really sure about that. I'm kind of on the fence. So. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste. Hello everyone, it's Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post, and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to bring the latest installment of the Moonwatch series, and nobody cares I want to do it. Hello everyone, this is Jenny Yetto from the Pixie Post, and this doesn't look right, so let's do this again. So, stay with us, and we'll get it. Okay, I'll be able to turn on the Right. And until the next time, to know thy truth is this.